Speaking of that time of the year, we had a bit of a fall feel over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. this is where the pants. Beautiful. We had pants over the weekend. That was kind of the requirement. I busted out the jeans for the first time. Wow, I that's know. a statement. I know. The like long jeans. Yeah. I was Not even the sweatshirt and the shorts. That's what oh, Cleveland is known jeans for. Jeans and a hoodie was the <laughs> uniform for Saturday. I think that was the case for a lot of us. We had that first fall feel. Uh, the pants are going to be out of here, but the shorts are uh, going to be in high demand going forward for the rest of this because we get back to summer like conditions today. Uh, a really nice day. We are taking a step from fall towards summer. Uh, we do have a couple issues with traffic and uh, not so much through downtown. Things have been running pretty smoothly there, but uh, nice. 90 eastbound, we did have an accident uh, at 25th Street. That was blocking the right two lanes, so that had a lot of issues in terms of slow traffic. Things are improving. That accident has been cleared, but we do still have some slowdowns there, so keep that in mind along with a lot of the construction uh, that's going on. That could cause you some slowdowns out there today. As I mentioned, we took a step in the right directions with our temperatures for today. We're going to feel more like summer as we go through the rest of the week. We're going to get those high temperatures back into the low to mid 80s each day. Average high is about 78 degrees. We're off to a below average start to September so far. So we're going to flip that script as we go through the rest of the week for our temperatures out there right now. We're at 76 degrees west winds at 15 miles per hour. It's been a little breezy out there today. We'll keep that breeze around at least through the evening. First part of the overnight. Our skies have been dry. Just a few passing clouds. We still generally have high pressure in place across much of the country, but attention is going to shift off to the south. Uh, we have some action in the tropics. It's been a while since we could say that, but Tropical Storm Francine, a 5 p.m. advisory here starting to develop a little bit of an eye and it's going to be tracking a little northward. So uh, read it, latest models, uh, latest forecast here has that making landfall actually as a category two hurricane uh, near Louisiana and then continuing to track north. And that means by the weekend we're going to look for at least some high clouds from this. Not looking like rain right now, but at least additional cloud cover as we get towards late this week and into the weekend. For tonight, uh, just some passing clouds, a ch small chance we see a stray shower sprinkle. Temperatures will not be as chilly. We'll only drop back into the mid-50s, so it's going to be a little more comfortable to start things off on Tuesday. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Tuesday is going to be a beautiful summer-like day for us. Just a few clouds developing. Temperatures back close to 80 degrees as we go through the afternoon. More nice weather as we get into Wednesday. Mainly sunny skies and temperatures climbing into the low 80s, some mid 80s for a few locations through the afternoon. And then as we head towards Thursday, especially later in the day, we're going to have some of that high cloud cover starting to filter in, and we could see more of that cloud cover as we get towards Friday and the weekend as we keep close eye on the remnants at that point of Francine. So temperatures in the 80s as we go through that seven day outlook brought to you by Union Home Mortgage. We'll look for the clouds with the remnants of Francine, but right now we are looking mainly dry, just the cloud cover to worry about. Matt. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you.